No, it was great. It was great to get everybody back to see everybody again. I uh, had a good chat with them this morning about the expectations and, and you know the standards we want to set from the outset, from day one, from training. And it was brilliant. You know, they were very competitive. Uh, they were straight into work with the balls. Um, mixed up with a, with a bit without the balls which is the part nobody likes but um, they worked hard they look in good shape uh, none of them have, none of them look like they've uh, gone too mad over the summer which is which is a, I suppose what modern day football is now you know don't, nobody lets themselves go particularly now uh, they all look sharp they all look fit which means we can get back into football quicker and the games are going to come we've got 10 days before the first game which is a good spell but when the first game comes they're going to be thick and fast so we're looking forward to that What's your approach to uh, pre-season training? Are you uh, a, a tough taskmaster? I don't tend to. Um, I don't tend to do as much sort of longer stuff as I used to do when I was a player. Um, I just, I suppose, my belief is a little bit that you can get your football, you get your fitness through playing. Uh, so do as much as much with the balls as we can, uh, but it'll be very, very hard work without the balls. But um, it's, uh, it's it's started well today, but as I say, it's, it's only the start. It'll it'll build up again tomorrow, probably be a bit tougher tomorrow. Uh, and then, as I say, we, we, we'll go, the longer the pre-season goes on, the bigger the games will get, the more sort of focused on 11v11 and systems and things. But uh, right now, it's just getting them back into it. Yeah, so we've got we've got a good mixture, as I said. You know, we've got the experienced lads who have done, you know, Maka and uh, Bondi and Paddy and Newton have done a lot of pre-seasons. Then you've got sort of Kiari and and Reese, uh, Watto, uh, Jebo, you know, young Nathan even Ryan. Uh, probably be one of their first full pre-seasons with, with the first team. So it's a good mix. But the good, you know, the thing I wanted to emphasise is we need a very strong group, we need everybody backing each other up. And if you see training there, you know, the lads are all, they're all, they're all sort of getting behind each other, they're all trying to get each other going and, and uh, giving each other as much confidence and, and, and backing as they can, which is, which is the sign of a good squad. All in, first two, three touch, second two. Start with your pass, Fergie. Minutes again. One, two. Uh, it's been good, yeah. It's been good to get uh, back and see all the lads again. and. Um, you know, it's been nice to see everybody um, after you know the best part of two months away from each other. I think you need that time away from each other, but it's good to get back back together, meet some of the new lads as well, and uh, you know, we've had a really good session there this morning, and uh, I think everybody's glad to be back. <laughs> Pre-season's a funny one, to be honest. You're you're in a way, you know, looking forward to getting back into the swing of things and and getting back playing football again, but then you know what's coming. Um, and I don't think pre-season's a time that any footballer really looks forward to because you know it's going to be tough. You know you're going to be pushed to your limits. Um, you know, evenings, naggered, stiff, sore. Um, but it's all necessary to get your body fit and ready to go for, for the start of the proper season. Um, it was probably a wee bit of a different day back than uh, than some of them I've been used to. Um, you know everything, everything with the balls and, and straight into you know possession games and uh, lots of ball work, which is what we all like, what we enjoy. You, you know you don't want. I think to be honest, the days are gone um, of just you know plodding around a pitch for hours and hours. Um, I think you can get all the fitness work you need in. Um, you know, using the balls at the same time, and uh, it's been an enjoyable, enjoyable first session back. Is it good that you don't have long to wait before the pre-season fixtures start? It is, I because um, you know it doesn't really matter what training you do. Um, once that first game comes, you're always blowing after you know half an hour, forty minutes. So. Um, the games are what get you proper match fit, um, so the fact that they come around quickly um, can only be a good thing. Are you excited about uh, a couple of the fixtures? We've got Leeds first, and then uh, Hartlepool United. Your former couple of couple of big games, yeah. Um, you know, I know the Leeds game will be a good occasion for the club. I think 
should be a good crowd there, and uh, hopefully they bring some first team players across, and uh, you know, hopefully that's a that's a good test for us. Um, and as you say, Hartlepool, um, you know, I'll I'll know a lot of the, the lads and a lot of the staff from from Hartlepool, so it'll be good to see some familiar faces, um, and that'll also be a good test for us. As well, the other games, you know, I think. Scarborough, South Shields, um, Notts County as well, you know, all really good tests for us and uh, we'll, we'll put us in good stead ready to go into the season.